Hello guys in this video, I will be showing you and 2 to benchmark scores of new Samsung Galaxy S22 Exynos 2200 in comparison with last year S21 Exynos 2100. Before that, I will set up my new S22 and meanwhile I will factory reset my S21 for the fair comparison. We can find out how Exynos 2200 with Zclips graphic performs than Exynos 2100. Exynos 2200 was overhyped. But Samsung releases in the limited region. I don't know why. Exynos 2200 is powered by Zclips 920 graphic based on AMD RDNA 2. I generally don't care much about benchmark scores. Let's give a try. I will be doing two round of Antu to benchmark test. Okay, all devices are set well. There are equal number of apps. Nothing in the background and the brightness is set in similar level. Let's start the test. First round S22 scored 777,700 S21 scored 699,219 Exynos 2200 S22 scored 10% higher than Exynos 2100 S21. Let's do another test. Round 2nd S22 scored 724,934 S21 scored 565,795 in second. In second round S22 score dropped just a 6% where S21 dropped 19% its score. Exynos 2200 S22 scored 21% higher than Exynos 2100 S21. This is really good sustained performance by Exynos 2200. Exynos 2200 battery drain was almost similar. S22 reached 42.5C where S21 reached 41.5C round third. S22 scored 702,894. S21 scored 553,321. Exynos when Exynos 2200 managed to score 21% higher than Exynos 2100 S21. Exynos 2200 is really good on sustaining performance. I really like it to be honest. Exynos 2200 consumed just a percentage of battery power than S21. And also, the temperature was also a percentage higher just for this sustained performance. Exynos 2200 with Zclips graphic is just a new kid. There should be more update coming up. I will look forward. What do you think about this scores?